Greetings, everyone. This is your boy, Bobby. 1984. Coming to you with another one of those WWE 2K15 game. Play, 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 play. There he is. The champ is here. You know what? I ain't gonna even lie. What's my name? Uh, the NXT title looking pretty good around my waist, boy. And uh, for those of you that's just joining me, this is my WWE 2K15 Let's Play. I, I created my own player, Bobby1984, and I'm taking him from the bottom straight to the top. Uh, in the last episode, I faced Adrian Neville for the NXT Championship, and as you can see, I am your new NXT Champion. And uh, what 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 comes next is I have to defend the title. So I came out. They put me up against uh, Damian Sandow. Uh, I actually faced him in a different match, a Falls Count Anywhere match. And uh, he, he won. It was a back and forth match. Uh, at the last second, he pulled some old, uh, little trickery type stuff on me and got the win. But now the belt's on the line. So now this is where it gets serious. You know, when the belt's on the line, all games, all, all toying around, all that's put to the side. So now I got to get serious and really, you know, take Damian Sandow pretty seriously. But, um,. You know what? I've been watching a lot of, you know, wrestling lately. You know, last video we was talking about the TLC event and the NXT event. But in recent months, I've been really paying paying attention to Damian Sandow or Damian Mizdow. I really like the gimmick that they have him doing now with the Miz. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, he's the most entertaining part of the matches with him uh, mocking all of the moves that the Miz is doing or all the or all the punishment he's taking if he's getting suplexed he stands on his hands and uh he you know he does everything it's pretty entertaining and i'm, I'm hoping this leads to something big for him because I, I didn't really like the the whole uh intellectual superior intellectual gimmick he had going you know it's just i don't know it just it just was weird and he looks like he's a, a decent uh in-ring worker you know i've seen i've seen a lot of his matches and I thought when he got that push, when he when he won the money in the bank, I thought that was going to be it for him. I thought they were actually going to, you know, give him a chance to shine because a lot of people in the locker room, you know, I read a lot of articles and, and, and see some of the interviews, and a lot of people say, like, like he's a really deserving person. They say he works hard. And I, I like him. And I, I especially didn't like when he was doing the week-to-week -week gimmicks where he changed up for whatever city they were in. Ah, oh, come on. And when one city, like they went to, I guess, Miami, and he had the Miami jersey on, making fun of Miami. Then he went to Cleveland, had the Cleveland. So he, I didn't really like that week to week gimmick. But the, the new gimmick, come on now, there it is. The gimmick he has with the Miz is pretty cool. And, and I'm hoping that that leads to, you know, because they're already showing like the Miz is, is the unpopular person, and then the audience is really gravitating towards uh, Miz Dow. And I'm hoping that, you know, that brews for a little while and it eventually turns into like a rivalry between them. And maybe they have a match, you know, not just a match, but a couple of great matches, you know, because I like the Miz. He's a good in-ring worker, a decent in-ring worker. But I'm hoping this leads to a rivalry and maybe something at WrestleMania where, where you know, Damian Sandow wins and just gets a push. You know, he, I, I could see him as like the Intercontinental Champion or the U.S. Champion, you know. I, I think he has the... I think he has 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 the in ring ability and the charisma and the things to do that. Oh, I almost had me with that, buddy. But um, we'll, we'll see. But one thing I'm noticing as I'm getting my ass handed to me is that a, as a low level character, Damian Sandow looks like the man. He is he is giving me a a, a wrestling lesson at the moment. I mean, he, he's, he's countering everything I try to do, and he's he's just outworking me. And that's what happens when you have these low characters. I think my guys rank like 59 overall, and and I have a second character that I play with uh, at home, and I ranked him up to 98. And yeah, I could tell. Do all my punches are slow. Uh, my reversals are always been pretty slow, but they're they're really really ridiculous. And I think I've gotten used to playing as that character. Cause now that now that I'm using the Bobbia character, everything is, is off. Cause I'm used to my guy being faster and stronger, but <laughs> things just aren't looking too well for the champ. I mean, I need to turn this around before I. Uh, uh, come on, come on. Whew, I gotta turn this around before I end up losing my belt here, man. This is my first title defense. I mean, I had a couple of regular matches, but they weren't for the title. You know, I don't wanna. 
Uh oh, come on. Oh, I couldn't reverse it. I didn't want to. Damn it. <laughs> come on, kick out. Oh, kick out. Mm, I can't believe this. First title offense, and I end up losing the damn belt. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to get mad, man. My man, my man Damian Sandow got to have something. Damian Minsdow got to get something, man. I'm not, I, you know, just go ahead and celebrate that. I'm going to come back for my title, man. Go ahead and celebrate that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think of him as a worker, as a as talent. Let me know if it's just me thinking too much about it. But I think I think he needs a push and he can do well. But um, man, that sucks. Until next time, we don't go, go, go.